three compromises what's called 172, 175, 177, 183, 187, 188, 190, 191, 192, and 193. I'm not sure where they put the division for that one, because 55, 56, and something in the middle there. Um, and 196. And we are going to talk about the so-called Zanda Ravan, the sacrifices, uh, the sacrifice that makes the soul living, that is to say, that makes it enter heaven, it is probably performed only in case the sinner has performed the patet, the so-called Zanda Ravan, the sacrifice that makes the soul living, that is to say, that it makes it enter heaven, is probably to be performed only in the case of the sinner, uh, only in case the sinner has performed the patet. Okay. Um, 172. O maker of the material world, thou holy one, if a man who does not know the rites of cleansing according to the law of Mazda offers to cleanse the unclean, what shall the worshippers of Mazda do? How shall I then fight against that drug who from the dead rushes upon the living? How shall I fight against that drug who from the dead defiles the living? 175. Ahura Mazda answered, Then Ospitama Zarathustra, the drug Nasu, waxes stronger than she was before, stronger than our sickness and death, and the working of the fiend than they were before. 177. O maker of the material world, thou holy one, what is the penalty that he shall pay? Ahura Mazda answered, The worshippers of Mazda shall bind him, they shall bind his hands first. Then they shall strip him of his clothes. They shall flay him alive. They shall cut off his head, and they shall give over his corpse unto the greediest of birds of the beneficent spirit, unto the corpse-eating birds, unto the ravens, with these words. The man here has repented of all his evil thoughts, words, and deeds. Well, if a person is going to be put to death, uh, let's... You know, we can assume the best and not blame them for whatever. Leave that up to afterlife judgment, right? 183. If he has committed any other evil deed, it is remitted by his repentance. If he has committed no other evil deed, he is absolved by his repentance forever and ever. 187. Who is he, O Ahura Mazda, who threatens to take away fullness and increase from the world and to bring in sickness and death? 188. Ahura Mazda answered, It is ungodly... Ashima Aga, O Svetama Zarathustra, who in this material world cleanses the unclean without knowing the rites of the cleansing according to the law of Masta. 190. For until then, O Svetama Zarathustra, sweetness and fatness would flow out from that land and from those fields with health and healing, with fullness and increase and growth and a growing of corn, you know, um, is it just the grains, or it's, it's not referring to that yellow or white uh, stuff or whatever, you know, um, and grass. 191. O maker of the material world, thou holy one, when are sweetness and fatness to come back again to that land and to those fields with health and healing, with fullness and increase and growth, and a growing of corn and grass? 192, 193. Ahura Mazda answered, Sweetness and fullness will never come back again to that land and to those fields with health and healing, with fullness and increase and growth and a growing of corn and grass until that ungodly Ashima Oga has been put to death and the holy Sarasha has been in that place. You know, Sarasha as opposed to Ashma, um, the um, obedience versus wrath, offered up a sacrifice. For three days and three nights, with fire blazing, with Barisma tied up, and with Ha'ama uplifted, 196. Then sweetness and fatness will come back again to that land, and to those fields, with health and healing, with fullness and increase, and a growth, and a growing of corn and grass.